Welcome back to the racing preview. Time now to find a winner. But before we do, let me tell you about the racing guide up there in Singapore. If you're betting on Perth Racing and if you're watching this program, odds are that you are, then this is what you need. The racing guide available at all the normal outlets will help steer you into a winner on Perth Racing this Saturday. Well, we'll try and do the same and find our best bets on the card. First off, our best bet. And it comes up with Action Pack in the Winter Cup. Two weeks since he last won. I know Lindsay Smith had him set to run around in that 1,400 metre race last week, but the horse was just off his tucker the night before. According to Smith, hasn't left the note since, and he'll be the one that they all have to beat. Best bet, action pack in race four, number one. Our value bet comes up in the last. Number four, Night Academy. I've been watching him now for about two months at the trials at Lark Hill and he's ticking over really, really well. His turn of foot in that barrier trial was first class and I think he'll be able to get the money at good each way odds in the last on Saturday. And our rating special, well, let's get it early with the Philly Danana Smoothie. Race one, number one, Fred Kersley in very good form. He's stable, ticking over nicely. And what about William Pike? He is all conquering at the moment. So race one, number one, Danana Smoothie. I mentioned about Fred Kersley. He's trying to bridge the gap on Neville Parnham at the moment. Parnham clear again, uh, but Nev uh, is away on holidays on voc vacation with his wife, Caroline, currently touring Europe. And maybe while the boss is away, the cat might get a chance to play. And if Danana Smoothie can win and maybe a couple more, it could tighten up at the top of the trainers' premiership down here in Perth. But as far as the jockeys are concerned, William Pike is killing them at the moment, although he's set for an adjourned inquiry into a race interference that he was charged with in the last of the day at Belmont last Wednesday. OK, so the adjourned inquiry is on Friday and we will know his fate one way or the other, whether or not racing wagering WA stewards will find him guilty. He's, uh, he's pleaded not guilty to the charge and we'll see whether or not William Pike gets time because it's very important as Pike tries to charge towards riding 100 winners in the season. Well, that's it for the Perth Racing Preview. Don't forget Dion Luciani will join us with the full team, Wes Cameron and Darren McCauley for Race Day Live this Saturday today from 12 o'clock. Make sure you log on to the racing channel up there in Singapore. Until then, when we'll be joined by Dion Luciani next Thursday for the Perth Racing Preview, have a good day.